Here are the top 5 best free and open source image generator and manipulation programs. Number 1, Inkscape. Inkscape is a great application for artistic people, and you can create a lot of cool stuff inside of Inkscape. I have used it in the past to make swirly patterns, and you can even generate 3D shapes as well. Inkscape is available on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. In at number 2, we have GIMP, which stands for GNU Image Manipulation Program. GIMP has been around for yanks, and its incredible power, combined with the fact that it's completely free to use, makes it a very appealing option to those of you who do not want to pay Adobe's high price tag for Photoshop. GIMP may lack a couple of advanced features that Photoshop has, but who's going to use them anyway? GIMP does come with a steep learning curve, but with enough time and patience, you can learn how to create and edit images in GIMP. GIMP is available for Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and FreeBSD. In at number 3, we have LibreOffice Draw. This application is part of the whole LibreOffice suite, but it can create basic shapes, sketches, and silhouettes. LibreOffice Draw isn't quite as sophisticated or as powerful as the other programs I have mentioned, but it certainly will come in handy for something where you need to do sketches. LibreOffice itself is available on all major platforms, Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and BSD. In at number 4, we have Scribus. This application is designed to edit layouts, typesetting, and preparation of files for professional quality image editing. This application is available on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Lastly, in at number 5, we have Krita, which is an amazingly capable program that can create stunning animations, images, and you can even edit some photos in Krita as well. Krita is quite powerful, but it does come with its own learning curve, although I find Krita much easier to use than something like GIMP. Krita works well with Wacom tablets, so if you do a lot of drawing with one of those, I reckon you should give Krita a try, because it can take advantage of using one of those, and a Wacom tablet allows you to press as hard or as soft as you want with the pen, and in Krita, this will affect how much paint is put onto the canvas, and you can shade things using a Wacom tablet too, something you cannot do with a traditional mouse. Krita is available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Alrighty, that's it for this video folks. Like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.